I've been to many camps, and this is certainly one of the most dire, and it is the world's largest refugee camp. This is Dadaab. If this is the better situation, then what must it be like inside of Somalia? Nearly 300,000 people in a space designed for 90,000. Earlier this year, a cholera outbreak was contained, thanks to huge teams of humanitarian workers. But with up to 7,000 people arriving each month, rain on the horizon, they say it will be impossible to contain the next outbreak. Do you think that the international community needs to understand something that they don't know about what is happening in Somalia or what is happening here? When they came here, they have no enough support of budget. UNSR managing these three companies and also it's congested. There's no peace, uh, spaces, there's no shelter, there's no enough water. Toilets are already overflowing. There is not even enough space for a trash dump, so people are living amongst the garbage. And the deteriorating situation in Somalia is only expected to worsen in the coming months. Today, 3.6 million Somalis are dependent on aid, and the 1.5 million internally displaced are becoming more and more difficult to access and help. What is amazing is as more and more people come into the camp, the Somali families continue to be generous with what very little they have even if that means having one-eighth of the water they need and the children suffering from dehydration. Did they say he's going to get stronger? Did they, what did the doctors tell you? And there, how is their health? The Somali families I met today are full of warmth and affection. I wish more people could meet them. Then they would have a stronger desire to help. Okay. Yeah.